Thank you for joining me once again. My name is Ngozi Adelaye, founder of Crunch Econometrics. In this video, I will show you how to create an index using the principal component analysis technique. In the introductory video, I spoke about how I created an institutional quality index using the six indicators of institutional quality, control of corruption, rule of law, government effectiveness, voice on accountability, regulatory quality, and political stability. From experience, these indicators are highly correlated, which justifies the creation of an index. The data is obtained from World Bank Worldwide Governance Indicators. So in this video, I will be replicating the creation of IQI, which stands for Institutional Quality Index. And if you look at this column, you can observe the strong correlation between IQI and the six indicators of institutional quality. The correlation coefficient ranges from 0 0.8 to 0 0.975. So you can see that IQI is strongly correlated with the six indicators of institutional quality. Also, if you look among the six institutional indicators, you will observe some strong level of correlation or collinearity among them. So this again justifies why I created the IQI for that paper. So here is the underlying data. I have here 193 countries. The first country is Afghanistan and the 193rd country is Zimbabwe. Each country has 10 years data from 2010 to 2019. And you can see here across um, the columns, you can see the six indicators from control of corruption to voice and accountability. So I will be creating the IQI for each of these countries. This data will be made available in case you want to replicate what I did in this video. The link to the, the, link to the data, I'm going to put it in the video description. Click on it. It will take you to my ResearchGate account where you can download the data set free of charge. Here you can see the do file where I've written all the codes to execute. I will also provide the do file free of charge. The link to that will be in the video description. Click on it. It will take you to my research gate account where you can download this data do file free of charge. So without much ado, let's begin the creation of the institutional quality index. First thing I'm going to execute line 11 which is a global syntax telling Stata to create a global list for the six indicators. So you can see right here, that global X list is created. This is just to reduce the stress of typing each indicator all the time. So once I use X list, Stata knows I'm referring to the six indicators. So that is done. I'm going to execute line 12, which is to observe correlation among the six indicators. So here is the correlation matrix. And if you observe closely, you can see strong correlation coefficient. So that is done. I'm moving on to line 16, where I'm going to execute the PCA X list syntax. This will bring out all the components contained in this, among these variables. So here is the results. We have six components, components one to six, as you can see right here. Component one has the highest eigenvalue of 4.944, capturing 0 0.8241 of the proportion, while the lowest component is component 6 with 0 0.047. So you can see right here that component 1 explains 82.41% variation among the six indicators. So the PCA will be generated using the first component. And if you look below that, you can see principal components eigenvectors, and you can see the proportion of the components spread across each of these indicators. So component one shows to have the largest proportion. So again, the PCA will be generated from components one. So next, I'm going to execute the global syntax. Just execute that, restricting the composition to just components one. Next is to generate the script plot. It's important you have your script plot just in case your supervisor wants to see it or the reviewer of your paper. So I always try to keep my script plot either in the appendix or in the main work. 
So here we have the script plot, and you can see that component one shows to have the highest eigenvalue at 4.944 right here. So make sure you save this and close. Make a copy, put it on your paper, either in the appendix or in the main work. Okay, so that is the script plot. So next, I'm going to execute line 25 and 26, which is still in the process of computing the index. Okay, so executing line 25 and 26. So that is done, still showing us that component 1 has the highest eigenvalue, which represents 82.41% of variation among the six indicators. The next syntax will be the, ro the component rotations using the default Verimax. So I'm going to highlight 2930. Default is Verimax in Stata. You can also use the case and normalization. Whichever one you use, you are going to have the same result. So I'm using default, which is the Verimax, and I'm going to execute line 29 and 30. So that is done. Nothing much to do there. Next, I move on to line 37 and 38, which is now to compute the index proper. Okay. So the index is computed. Let me show you in the underlying file. So here you can see the column IQI. So this is the index capturing institutional quality. With this, I have um, solved the problem of multicollinearity in the data. So instead of using the six indicators, the IQI alone is sufficient to explain institutional quality. All right, so next, I will just um, observe the correlation between IQI and the six indicators, exactly what I had in my paper. So here you can see the correlation, exactly what I showed you on the PowerPoint slide, the correlation between IQI, which is the Institutional Quality Index, and the rest of the six indicators. The strong correlation here justifies the creation of the index. If you click on this uh, myfile.doc, so here you can see the results transferred to a Word file. So once I click on that link, it brings your results onto a Word file, okay? So lastly, I'm going to estimate the case Samia opening sampling statistic. The rule of thumb is that if the KMO statistics is above 0 0.5 or equal to 0 0.5, it justifies the use of PCA. I execute that, and we can see that the statistics here is 0 0.08848, which justifies using PCA to create an index. So to wrap up this video, so this is the institutional quality index I used in one of my papers, and I've just shown you how that index is created. This is the paper I'm referring to, which is the first one. I used institutional quality index. While the paper below, I created an ICT index. If you are interested in either of these papers, connect with me on ResearchGate so that you can download these articles. Thank you so much for watching. I have just shown you how you can create an index using PCA. In case you are having multicollinearity of related variables, one of the ways by which you can address that problem is to create an index. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't go away. I'll be right back with more interesting videos.